The following is a special presentation of Coral Gables Television. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us for this special presentation of Coral Gables Television. It's special because we are on location to meet the man responsible for creating what has become a jewel of the city of Coral Gables, Mr. Mitchell Kaplan. Hi Mitchell, thank you Hello, so Rita. much for welcoming Coral Gables Television to Books and Books. It's my pleasure to have you here. Thank you again. So Mitchell, I want to start literally at the very beginning. You know, they say that men can't give birth, but I want to prove them wrong because you literally have conceived books and books. And you know, inquiring minds want to know how that beginning took place. Well, interestingly enough, we have been in business for almost 40 years. I'm a native of Miami Beach, but I've always been intrigued by Carl Gables. So when I came back from college and I started looking for a place where I wanted to open a bookshop, Carl Gables became the natural place. So almost 40 years ago, we found a small space. It was in the heyday of independent bookstores when there were so many independent bookstores and there wasn't the internet, there wasn't uh, computers, there weren't cell phones. People actually had to go to stores in order to buy their things. We opened a small 500 square foot store right across the street from where we are now. And about 20 years ago, we expanded into this gorgeous building with a beautiful courtyard. location yes. that we're in today. So listen, I read a little bit, a tidbit that I found about one of the co-founders who happens to be one of my favorite childhood authors and many people's childhood authors. I'm sure you know who I'm referring well, to. Judy Bloom. Yes. Judy Bloom is the co-founder of the store that we opened a few years ago in Key West. Yes. At the um, at the artist studios of Key West. Yes. It's a store that we are partnered with Judy and her husband George. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, you can go on certain days. You go down to Key West, you go into the store, and you might even see Find Judy Bloom her there. working the floor. She loves bookselling. Wow, good to know. Like I said, I'm a fan, so I might show up. <laughs> so listen, I wanted to mention or actually ask you, speaking of, of course, books, do you have possibly one favorite author? You know, I don't. I, I imagine that was going to be <laughs> the answer. And if I did, I probably wouldn't be able to say it, given all the authors that I that imagine that. Here. My reading tastes are very, very kind of all very. over the place. So I like everything from mysteries to biographies to histories, serious fiction and poetry. I happen to love the work of Pablo Neruda, for instance, claro. as a poet. Mm -hmm. And um, I've read, you know, the fiction of Russell Banks, uh, the fiction of uh, Michael Andaje. These are people who I've come to love over the years, and I'm always looking out for their work. So there are different people that I like uh, for different reasons. And speaking of authors, about how many has Books and Books, you know, uh, had in their premises? We present over 400 author events a year. So if you take that, we haven't always done that, but I think we presented literally tens of thousands of authors wow. over the years. Wow. And can you tell us some upcoming visits? Yeah, we have some really interesting people. We have Jim Carrey coming. I saw that in May. In May, Correct? he's coming. Yes. We've got um, Julia Alvarez coming. Mm -hmm. She'll be here as well. Uh, we have a woman named Emma Straub coming. If you go to booksandbooks.com yes. and look at our calendar, you'll see we literally have one, sometimes two events every single day. That's quite a bit. So now, besides prominent authors, who are some distinguished guests? Because I've also read that we've hosted, or Books and Books has hosted, athletes and presidents and oh, celebrities. Fact, what are some names? We've had everyone from Shaquille O'Neal to Dwayne Wade, presidents. We've had Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton. Yes. We've had uh, Barbara Bush, their grandchildren. In the early days, we had uh, Walter Cronkite. So, you know, and as if that weren't enough, Books and Books has also become such a jewel in my opinion, because of the variety of things that people can do here, inclusive for all ages. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about, for example, books and crafts? Oh yeah, we have, a, we have marvelous programs on Saturday morning. 
where we partner with the Children's Museum and other sorts of things. And you can come and bring your kids, have a story being read, and then do a craft. We also have a cafe. Friday and Saturday nights we have music in the courtyard at the cafe, and we have a full, full menu. So it's the kind of place you can come and either move into uh -huh. or just hang out. Well, One speaking of that, I want to tell you something that you have somewhat indirectly or maybe directly become a matchmaker of sorts. Okay. You know why? Because speaking of the cafe, I have a friend who told me that this was her books and books and the cafe was her place of choice for her dates. Ah, and so interestingly that's... enough, it's thanks to the books that they found love. We do all we can <laughs> in that department. And speaking of love, I want to congratulate you on a wonderful film that is on Netflix, that the viewers can see on Netflix, that deals a little bit with the topic of love. Are you talking about the Guernsey yes, film? Yes, I wanted yeah. to give you, let you the give name that of the wonderful book is The title. Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. It's a story that takes place on the Isle of Guernsey before and after World War II and it is a bit of a love story, a bit of a history, but it really fosters and talks about the love of books. Yes. The other film that we've done that does that, I think, as well, is a film called The Man Who Invented Christmas. Yes. And that's a film that stars Christopher Plummer and Jonathan Price, and it's about Charles Dickens and the six weeks it took him to write A Christmas Carol. Very nice. So really yes, I, I wanted to, to applaud that because it shows you. how, you know, the books do so much more than what you see just on the page. Well, of you know, books. coming up February 28th, we have um, a new film that's going to be being premiered on Netflix with Al Fanning. And it's also based on a book called All the Bright Places. Mm -hmm. And it's a book about two kids in high school that are having a hard time and each of them help the other one way or another. So that Wonderful. should be quite interesting. Wonderful. So besides being a film producer, Mitchell, we're kind of colleagues of sorts because I saw that you also host a podcast. I do. Can you tell us about your podcast? Yeah, it's called The Literary Life with Mitchell Kaplan, mm -hmm. and you can find it any, wherever you listen to your podcasts. We're sponsored by Lit Hub, which is an act, if you're a book lover, you should go to lithub.com. And there's a whole bunch of podcasts on lithub.com right. as well. And we've now done almost a year and a half worth of author interviews. We have about, I think there's over 60, 65 or 70 author interviews that are really interesting. And it's, the whole idea is that it's an over the backyard fence kind of conversation. Right, very relaxed. Very relaxed. We just talk about, you know, I want to know more about the author itself. Right. Less about the book, more about the author. And in fact, I wanted to congratulate you there as well because you got some rave reviews on one of your recent interviews on Twitter. I was reading some oh, of the really? responses Good. with your Eve Ensler. Oh, Eve Ensler, yes. Yes, with uh, that interview. From the vagina so. monologue, yes. <laughs> Mitchell, we can't let you go without asking you what book recommendations you have. Well, there's a lovely, marvelous book by the author of The English Patient, Michael Andaje. He wrote that, that book. But he's got a new book out now called War Light. And it's a wonderful, wonderful book that takes you, um, it's a bit of a thriller, a bit of a history, but beautifully written. So that one, that's the book that I would recommend. Well, thank you so much, Mitchell, and there you have it. With that, we're going to say goodbye for now, so you can all hurry up and come down here to Books and Books. And who knows, if you're lucky, you might get to run into the man who, alongside his bookstore, has also become a jewel of the city beautiful. So once again, Mitchell, thank you so much for your time today. Rita, I'm honored to have had you here. Oh, thank you, darling. Really appreciate you. Don't go anywhere. We have more interesting and entertaining programming just for you on Coral Gables Television. Thank you for watching.